I wanted to talk a little bit about a about Neptune, the planet of enchantment and glamour and illusion, spiritual expansion, uh, a beautiful planet, um, which is currently in the sign Pisces and has been for many, many years and will be for many years to come. Uh, it's about halfway through Pisces and it went in, you know, nearly a decade ago, not quite, um, at the beginning of the teens. Now, Neptune, as you probably know, is a huge gassy ball and sometimes it, look, it's, it goes, it's in retrograde quite a lot of the time and it moves very, very slowly. So, People born on around the 3rd of March right now, you've got Neptune sitting on your sun. Um, but Neptune turns direct on the 29th of November. And it's worth just thinking about that and thinking about where that is in the sky for you. Because Neptune in Pisces is opening up... Uh, the collective in a way that's really interesting. Since Neptune's been in Pisces, uh, you know, we've had a lot of the social media stuff really opening up. Um, we've had, uh, you know, uh, television has gone into these incredibly long series that we're all addicted to, um, podcasts, um, audible, you know, audiobooks. Um, we're consuming media and we're consuming imagination in a different way. And that's the thing about this um, planet at, in Pisces. Um, the last time it was there, something similar happened because that was when very long novels were being produced in the 1850s. Um, Dickens was at work. So you can see how Dickens relates to, you know, Ray Donovan or whatever the latest thing is that we're all watching. What are we watching at the moment, David? This I can't. is us. This is us. This is us. Exactly. That works. That you know. That's a Dickensian saga about a family, um, which draws us into a special world, and that is what Neptune is about. And that's the beauty of Neptune. Um, so it's worth embracing that, but also being a little wary of the illusion that Neptune brings.